Thanks for rolling up to Amari Certified Pilot. Smoking on one of my uh uh evening 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 jays and shit. Oh, you know we need to do Bird Club, uh, RT and you. Run those numbers up, man. Break down, subscribe, and twist those like buttons. Uh, let's go ahead, bro. Let's go ahead and do this, bro. Let's do this. Let's jump right into uh in today's story. Yeah, you know, see, see, see what we got going on. Well, as you know, recreational marijuana sales will start in New Mexico in just a few days. Tonight, Albuquerque City Councilors met to talk about enforcing where people can use it. Action 7. Okay, hold on. Uh, so, New Mexico, New Mexico passed the rec. They about to start uh, having sales and shit. Um, I guess by the end of the week, um. Which is dope, bro. Which is dope. Yeah, if you in New Mexico, man, uh, uh, yeah, bro, that's that's dope that y'all got wrecked. Cause, um, where I'm at, still do not have it. Uh, so that's that's yeah, that's that's a good look for y'all. Um, they say they trying to figure out where uh, where um, you can smoke at. So let's see, let's see what they say. But his reporter Angel Salcedo is here with what they decided. <laughs> well, Doug, today's debate was focused around the Albuquerque Clean Indoor Air Act. Now, the act is designed to control where tobacco is consumed in public, but some city council members believe we need to tighten regulations on marijuana use as well. All those in favor, raise your hands and say yes, yes. Consuming marijuana in public is illegal in our state. And that passes on a uh, five to but today, Albuquerque City Councilors couldn't decide on a bill that would allow Albuquerque police officers to enforce that law. There's already a state law that says that you can't smoke can cannabis in public. I think it's very, very important that we have a uh, law that we can enforce at the local level. They voted to defer the decision until the next city council meeting. And I really don't think that we need to be creating additional tools for punishment for smoking a completely legal substance. It's about safety. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the lady right there, I agree with her. Um, let's let's try to let's try to break these down a little bit. Uh, so so the, so what they're trying to do is come up with a a, a ban on smoking outside. You already can't smoke outside, so they don't really have to do anything extra. Um, if you want to put it to where uh, because you got your Clean Air Act, I guess in uh. In Albuquerque that says you can only smoke um cigarettes in certain places. If you want if you want to put marijuana on those same same spaces, you put it in those same spaces. You do not um go out the way to make it uh more punishable. You don't try to find another way to punish motherfuckers for smoking marijuana. That's not what you do. You put you put the rules down so that you can smoke in the same places you can smoke your cigarettes and uh you'll be fine. You smoke outside of there, you get you get a fine and shit. You know what I mean? And, um, and move along. Uh, but you know what I mean? Um, besides that and shit, what what, what else are y'all trying to do? What are y'all trying to do? Book somebody for for walking down the street smoking? Yeah, yeah, y'all not going. Yeah, that's not going to work. It's about doing the right thing for not only just the cannabis distributors but also for and you the people that use cannabis now the city bill wouldn't add a second penalty onto state law but counselors in favor say it would allow for additional oversight on what is already illegal i think a law is a law is a law and if we're going to have allow public consumption um, of cannabis we'd better be careful how we do it Cannabis business managers like Sabrina Archuleta say even if that bill is passed into law, it won't take away from consumer demand. And as long as you're able to consume in your own personal residence away from, you know, where it could be potentially offensive to the general public, I don't think that that would necessarily affect people's want to purchase recreational cannabis. And city council is getting... Yeah, see, okay, so so if they're only arguing that, you now I'm saying, um, we, we just don't want people out in public smoking at let's let's say like playgrounds where kids are going to be uh parks where kids are going to be that that makes sense bro that makes sense because you don't want kids to not mean be smoking or uh or um have any undue influence to make them want to smoke so i understand understand limiting public consumption of marijuana i understand it um you, you're going to have to do something, though. 
you're gonna have to either uh either um be be somewhat lenient or you're gonna have to allow establishments where people can go there to smoke Yeah, are you going? To, are you going to be dealing with people just walking around smoking? People are going to walk around smoke anyway, but you can mitigate it by um giving them somewhere to go where it, it, it don't be it don't be a hassle for them. Scheduled to meet again on April fourth to vote on the proposed bill. Angel Salcedo, KOAT Action Seven News. All right, yeah, so Albuquerque trying to figure out what to do to people who smoke in public. I say, I say, bro. I say, I say, I say. Um, thirty-seven warnings. <laughs> thirty-seven written warnings. And then, uh, 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 your first five, bro. That's 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 what I say. Who uh, who seconds? Who seconds that, bro? Thirty thirty-seven warnings for smoking smoking out outside. I think I think that's fair, bro.